guys welcome back to our channel this channel Aware science is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions in this video we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding find third transaction the difficulty level of this question is medium and i'm going to share the sql schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below okay the question reads we are given a table called transaction with three different columns user id spend and transaction date the combined columns user id and transaction date is the column of unique values for this table this table contains user id spend and transaction date we are asked to write a solution to find the third transaction if they have at least three transactions of every user where the spending on the preceding two transactions is lower than the spending on the third transaction okay return the result table by or user id in ascending order okay let's go through this example so here we have a transactions table so for let's say for user id 1 we have four different transactions the first one was on 2nd of november second was on 12th third was on 18th and fourth was on 30th so obviously the third one was on 18th right so if we look at this 65.56 it is more than 49.78 with and it is also more than 7.44 so for user id 1 this is the third transaction and this is the third transaction date for two we only have two transactions should not be in the output and for three we have the first transaction is this one third of november second this one and third this one but if we look at it the third one is not more than the preceding two transactions so three should not be in the output and that is what we have here right let me just if you uh, drag this so this is what we have so to solve this question what we need to basically do is for every user order by the transaction date and try to find out okay what is the third transaction and go from there okay so let me go ahead and do that so from this table called transaction let us rank them so let me return all the three columns and then use rank now here you can do ranking based on dense rank rank or row number however the best way would be to use rank why because if there is a tie then you skip a rank why would that be important because think about it so for example in user id 3 right so if for example these two were let's say three dollars 33 cents each right so first two and then this is seven so this would be assigned rank one rank one and then this would be assigned rank three right so in that called case also this is more than the preceding two transactions right so that is why we need to use rank you cannot use dense rank because then it will be assigned rank two so third transaction by spend will be assigned rank 2 that is going to be a problem and obviously you cannot use row number because then it is going to be another problematic case because even if there is a tie it is going to assign you different row numbers so let me use the rank and then since this is a window function and we want it for every user id so partition by the user id column and then order by the transaction date in ascending order and let's alias this as order rank okay now let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output so now if we look at this so this is what we have for every user id this is this was the first order second order third order fourth order and similarly we have for user id 2 and 3 okay now once we have that then you might be thinking okay what we can do is similarly we can say that okay rank the spends based on user id ordered by the spend in ascending order and obviously if you think about it so for user id 1 this will be ranked 1 rank 2 rank 3 and rank 4 similarly for this one it is going to be ranked 1 2 and 3 so we can say that okay since this is rank 3 by order so the third order and also rank 3 by spend that means this was more than the previous two then it should be in the output but that is not going to work why let me give you an example right let me just show you this example so now here you have a user id right now i have arranged this in ascending order by transaction date so if you look at this right apply the same logic order rank so this will be rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 4 5 and 6 okay so this is rank 3 by order now if you try to do the same thing with the spend so what is the minimum one 8.89 right so this is going to be assigned rank 1 right for the spend then this is going to be assigned rank 2 right for the spend then this is going to be assigned rank 3 then rank 4 and so on we do not care about all that okay so if you look at this if you apply the same logic that hey this is rank 3 by order and rank 3 by spend also but if you think about it 
is 19.11 greater than the previous two transactions no right so if you directly go ahead and do that it is going to throw you an error right so that is why you cannot do the same thing with the spend here only you can do that but you need to firstly filter that only keep the three transactions that we have then you do the same thing so what i am saying is let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as then what you do is from this common table expression let us keep only those rows where order rank is less than equal to three that means only keep the first three orders and then return me all the columns and now rank based on the spend so over partition by the user id and then order by the spend column spend and let's alias this as spend rank okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so you see now we have the order rank as well as the spend rank right this is what i was saying you could have in essence copied this entire thing and pasted it here right so here just put a comma in here and you can have the same thing but that is going to give you a problem so now once you have this right so if i just go ahead and look at this so you now have the order rank and the spend rank now if you save this entire thing right so now if you save the entire thing cte2 as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and now if you do this that from this common table expression to keep only those rows where your order is the second third one right so order rank is equal to three and your spend rank is also equal to three that means it was greater than the previous two then you return me all the stuff so how is that gonna work in our this example so what i said is firstly we ranked based on the transaction date so now these three are eliminated right because we only kept those ones where order rank is less than equal to three so now if you do this this is going to be assigned rank one this is going to be assigned rank two and this is going to be assigned rank three and now if you do that order rank is equal to three and spend rank equal to three you are not going to find any match and three is not going to be in the output so you see how this tackles the problem so let me just remove this now and what we want is we want so let me just drag it to the right we what columns do we want we want user id transaction spend and transaction debt so return me the user id then spend should be aliased as third transaction spend and transaction date should be aliased as third transaction date okay and this should also be ordered by user id in ascending order so order by user id okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah if you look at this this is accepted our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to surpass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so not a difficult question however tricky why because what we had to do was firstly we got okay what is the order rank so that we can get the top three transactions of each user id then at the same moment you cannot go ahead and do the spend wise as well because we saw an example where that is going to give a wrong sense for us that the third transaction also is the third largest but that is not going to be the case in every situation so what we did was we kept only those rows where order rank is less than or equal to three that means the first three transactions and then we calculated the spend rank and now once we have the spend rank then we kept only those rows where order rank is third and spend rank equal to three that means that it was a third transaction and the third transaction spend was greater than the first two and we got the output so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video